Hello, my name is Kainton, and in this uh, tutorial we are going to learn about clustering in Python from the scratch. So let's just get started. We are going to work with this data you see here. We are going to plot this data on an SY graph, plot it in Python, and plot the dendrogram, and see how it appears in a cluster. So in this uh, short lesson, you are going to learn bits of Python coding and bits of Jupyter Notebook. So let's get started. This will really be easy. Remember to click on subscribe button below this video to subscribe to my channel. All right, so I'm going to put away this presentation and then we open Python. So let me end it. So the first thing I'd like us to do, let's plot this graph first on an XY scatter graph in Excel and see how it is. So I'm going to just copy this data and then I'm going to paste it in Excel and plot the graph. So just highlight, copy, and then I'm going to open Excel. If you have any version of Excel, that will be fine. So paste the data uh, right there in Excel. Okay, and I'm going to simply go to, to insert and then choose scatter and choose the first one and it plots uh, beautifully right there. Okay, I'm going to uh, take out the grid lines. So just click, click there and just go to layout and go to grid line and just say none. So I don't need grid line because I, I just want to see how it looks like. I'm going to take this out and I'm going to take this out. Uh, sorry, not. And I'm going to take this uh, label out. So I'm going to copy this. Uh, back to PowerPoint so that we exactly see what we want to do with Python. So let me shift this to this side and uh, let me set it white so that is fine. Let me move all this away. So I'm going to paste our graph. So this is what the graph actually looks like. Mm, let's move all this. So this is what the graph looks like. Uh, maybe I'm going to just um, shade, apply a little shading. Right. Okay, so looking at it, you see that it, it appears there are two clusters, this side and this side. Well, this is Excel. Let's go over to Python and just plot this also in Python to see how it looks like. So if you have Python installed, uh, Python is free. And I would recommend installing uh, Anaconda because Anaconda comes with uh, Jupyter Notebook and every other thing you need to work with Python and other machine learning libraries, everything bundled inside. So if you have installed Anaconda, if not, look at the, the description box. You see how to where to download it and just install it. It is very easy. But if you don't have, you can also open uh, uh, Idle Python IDE and use it. But for now, I have Jupyter Notebook, and I recommend you use Jupyter Notebook. So open Jupyter Notebook, and it will open right there in the browser. And what you'll do is to just go to the right-hand side and say New, and choose Python 3, OK? So basically, to be able to plot this graph, you need to import NumPy and also matplotlib.pyplot. So if you open Jupyter Notebook, you see just one single cell, type inside and press enter to type the next line. So import, import NumPy as NP. There is no semicolon closing it. So to be able to plot graphs in Python, also use this import statement, import matplotlib, matplotlib uh, .py plot as PLT. So these are the two uh, lines you need to write to be able to plot graphs. So if you click on run, it runs perfectly and goes to the next line. So what you simply do is x is equal to, so we are trying to uh, enter this uh, data we already have. So that table is what we are trying to create. So you say mp.array, mp.array, and then you open, you also open another one. So at this point, you specify. So as many data points you have, in this case, it seems we have 
how many data points? Let me see. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight data points. So oh, sorry. So we are going to make it into eight places. One, two, three, four, five, six. So remaining two. So at this point, you can start typing in <coughs> the data 1.2, 2.0 inside each of them 1.2, 2.0, and so on. But since I've already written this out, I'll simply copy it and paste so that we'll be able to save the time. So I'm going to go here, I have it right here. So I'm going to just copy and paste it. But if you would like to type it out yourself, that will be also fine. So at this point, I'm going to click run to make sure there is no error. So it tells me there is error somewhere. Um, list indices must be integer slice, not tuple. Okay, so um, right, so the problem somewhere. 1.22.0. Okay, so I'm going to run again to see. It says. All right, so uh, where is this problem coming from? Uh, mp.array 1.2.2.0 says list indices must be integers or slices, not tuples. Okay, yeah, this place. So you see there is no comma right there. So hopefully it's going to run at this time. All right, so this data set has been entered and assigned into an array, a, a two-dimensional array X. So the next thing we are going to do to plot this is to simply say plt dot scatter okay so you give it parameters x that is the x axis and the next axis also x so the first column is what you specify here so to specify the first column you simply say semicolon comma zero that is column zero the second column is one because it's column zero, column one, column two, and so on. But in this case, we have just two columns. So size of the plot will be, let's say, 50, All right? So the next thing is, you can always run to check if everything is okay. So it plotted, but basically you can actually say plt dot, dot show. Okay, so I'm going to run it again, run, all right. So this is how the data looks like. So you can see this side seems to be a cluster out here and another cluster out here. But this is not hierarchical clustering. So it's just the, the plot, the, the way the plot appears. So let's use hierarchical clustering. And then in this case, we are going to display a dendrogram. To be able to use hierarchical clustering, you need to import two items in addition to what you've imported. So you say import uh, from uh, from cpy yeah dot cluster dot hierarchy imports linkage. Then the next one, we need to import a dendrogram as well because we want to draw a dendrogram. Hierarchical clusters, uh, clustering actually create a dendrogram. So, so I'm going to run to see if there is any error. So there is error in this place. Impost skippy that's hierarchy that cluster. Um, from skippy that cluster that hierarchy imports dendrogram so I think there is error somewhere uh, let me try again 
Okay. Want to uh, say line four? Okay, skipy dot cluster dot impossible dot. Okay, so this actually should be from from. So it's not import. So so if I run now, it's going to be fine. So the next thing I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to actually insert a cell. So simply say cell, or simply say insert, insert cell below. So I insert one cell. So the next thing I'm going to do is to specify the linkage matrix. Remember in, in, in hierarchical clustering, there is single linkage, complete linkage, and average linkage. So you need to specify this, and to do that, I've already, I've already written the, the line of code. So let me just copy it and paste. Yeah. So just copy and paste. But for you, I think it might be better to type it out. All right. So I'm going to take out this x y scatter. So at this point, I have I've specified the linkage matrix to be single linkage. The dendrogram to be dendrogram using linkage matrix. So instead of x y scatter, we are plotting a dendrogram, and then I run plt that show. So let's run it and see what we have. All right. So this is what we have. Uh, we have a dendrogram has been created. So we have the green uh, cluster. The green have the points clustered at this point and we have other points clustered I, I think if you don't understand really what dendrogram is you can look at my previous uh, tutorial specified in the description box so this is how to create a uh, plot in python and also to do hierarchical clustering in python so you can actually specify complete here and, not, and let's see how it's going to appear okay so uh, complete is not the Complete is not the, the correct syntax. Okay, I don't have it, so let's leave it a single linkage. All right, so I'm going to. All right, so actually, I'm going to stop here, but you can always. Uh, uh, you can always uh, follow the instruction I, I followed. So at this point, I would like to thank you for viewing. If there is any other thing you would like to know, uh, feel free to, to let me know. And then I'll get back to you. But I feel I should complete this. I should just correct this error before I go. Single. Yeah, so if I go back to PLT, the show. Dendrogram. This is not callable, so it's a terrible thing. All right, so okay, so I, I need to specify anyway. Um, We'll continue in the next tutorial. I'll, I'll like to stop here. Maybe I'll try to fix this because I have very little time right now.